everyone, welcome back. So this is Sarah's Creative Solutions by Backyard Art and I'm Sarah. Hello! And today we are doing the all waited for hummingbird in flight. So this is a really special uh, template, I really do like it. So obviously you have to roll out your clay to 5mm thick. I recommend that you roll it out, leave it for a few hours and then start cutting out your template so that the clay isn't as uh, soft and also make sure that the clay is released from the board before you apply your template so that when you take your pieces from the board they don't stretch as the clay won't be stuck. Okay so obviously in the video you can see there that I have rolled out my clay, I have started laying out my template and any detail that there is on each part highlight with a blunt tool or your needle tool using the side of it. Uh, I use a needle tool for wings and things like that because it's a nice straight line. Uh, and there we go, and there we have it. So obviously these are the uh, bird's side head. Make sure you uh, support the template on the clay as you are cutting out so that the uh, paper doesn't move. And like I say, make sure you highlight any detail. Now if the clay does stick to the board, even if you've released it, then just use a spatula and carefully prise it off. This ensures that each piece keeps its shape. So this is the tail and base. So basically this is the part that's going to be mounted onto the wall. So I've just marked the hole there. Um, and I've highlighted the pattern of the feathers so that you can use that to follow if you want to or you could just do your own uh, feather design, whichever you want to do. Um, and then you've just got to carve out these later on but we're just taking out the berry ends as you can see here. Very easy to do. So this is the body, the upper body. And I've just got to take out all these darts, make sure you follow the darts exactly. And this clay is quite f firm as you can see and it's not sticking to the board now so which is the stage that we can start building with. These are the wings, so I'm just going to take out the very edge of the wing to define where the feathers finish and then carve in using a trimming tool. So these are the wings finished and these are the bones of the wings. So this is just a little bit of extra definition towards the thickest part of the wing. Cut that out a bit of scrap clay that you've got left over and those are going to be slipped on later. So now we're just taking the inside edge away on the bird's head using your trimming tool. You do that on all the pieces that are related to the head as you'll see. Now use a serrated edge or a wire brush to uh, rough up the area of clay, this is called scoring. Um, and then once we've done that, do it on both sides. Now this is the upper front head and middle bottom head. These are the bits that are going to join those two side faces together basically. So there's our thick slip that we made earlier, if you want to know how to make slip, I have a video on that if you want to check that out. But there you go. So thoroughly slip these pieces after we've scored and then start attaching them so um, pointy end goes towards the beak and then same for the front bit pointy end goes towards the underside of the beak there we are put your finger in there make sure the joins are nice and what we want to do now is push out, round out from the eye area and the back of the head. We don't want it square, we want it round. And we're going to take out all those edges now as well with a, a tool and smooth out all the joins, fill in any gaps. And then we're also going to trim that beak so it's a bit narrower. Uh, 
As you see, I've taken off the template at the side of the face now, and this is why it's really good to mark out the eye area because it will give you a nice level set for when you actually come to do your bird's eyes. There's nothing worse than having a sculpture that's got wonky eyes. So if you use the template thoroughly and mark out all the details, you should have a really good finished look. So we're just trimming up now and taking off any of these square edges and we're going to turn it upside down in a moment and thin out that beak as well using a spatula tool. And now I'm just taking the inside edge away of the inside of the head so it will fit nicely onto the body. So this is the upper body now, so just score and slip at each dart. So rough up the clay on the inside, add lots of thick slip and then cup your hand and use the hand as a support to get the body into a nice shape. And if you follow the instructions on the video that you're seeing now, this is how you should shape the body. So take the inside edge away once you're ready to bring it round on itself and score and slip. Before you actually slip the join together, use your wet brush and just fill in any gaps on the joins on the inside. Go ahead and fill in any joins on the outside and trim any bits that are sticking out that shouldn't be and also flatten the front a little bit because that bit there is the belly. So here is me using the spatula tool just filling in any gaps and flattening it out a little bit at the back where the join is. Just trying it against the tail. Now the very very bottom of this body is where the feathers meet the tail so just pinch it in slightly to make it flatter at the very base. So remember we talked about the wings and the bones so this is me now looking at slipping on those parts we cut out earlier so score or rough up the clay on each side and then add the thick slip and then add the parts. So now use your small trimming tool just to take away the excess and blend it at an angle into the thinnest part towards the big feathers and the thickest part towards the shoulder of the wing. then blend in using some thick slip and a damp brush. I'm using that same trimming tool now to highlight each large feather.
and now I'm doing the same on the tail using my trimming tool just to highlight each feather. Now I'm just going to take the back end of the outer edge away from the back of the body because I want to try and give it a round look um, because even though this is attached to the wall I still want it to look as realistic as possible so if you just give it a nice curve and then when we attach it onto the base do the same to the base edge as well and then it will look a bit more authentic. So score and slip again, we'll rough up the clay and add your thick slip and then do the same to the base where the body will touch the feathers and around the edge and then attach. Give it a good wiggle, make sure that the seal is really good, fill in any gaps and then like I say on the very edge of the base there just take that outside edge away and round it out. At this point you can add your hole or you can add the hole before you attach the base if you want to and then trim it from the outside. I just forgot to add the hole here but I can add it a bit later so it's no problem. So now I'm just blending in where the body meets the tail. If you would like to try this template for yourself or if you would like to join me on social media, all the information is on the video description below. If you're watching this on Instagram, then the link to download this template is in my bio. If you'd like more information, just message me. Okay guys, thanks for watching. So I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to click subscribe as this will put the video in your viewing list so you'll be able to find it easily when you want to build again in the future.